and welcome to Yayi's Corner. Uh, it's good to be back. I am back. I was out for, I think, three weeks. Um, I feel refreshed. I don't know if... I feel a little refreshed. There was a lot of hiking on this trip, so my bones are feeling it, my muscles are feeling it, but it was great. It was great to disconnect for a while. Today I have some products that I purchased. Um, Chanel released some of their new products in the Le Beige collection. So I picked up the Water Fresh Blush and the and the Healthy Glow Powder. Not the highlighter. The highlighter has not been released in the US, okay? It's out in Canada and I've been trying to get my hands on it, but I mean, I don't speak French, so a lot of the websites, they want you to check out in French, and then I don't know how much, I mean, obviously I can do the conversion, but, so I haven't been able to get my hands on the um, highlighter, but it's supposed to be oversized, just like the powder bronzer. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this look. It is one of these looks that, you know, it looks like you have makeup on but it's so light and fresh and healthy looking that this is great for every day i mean i could get away with this down here because you know we're baking in the sun all year long so anyways if you like this look please keep on watching consider subscribing and thank you for visiting bye hi guys okay so let's get started with this chanel look okay specifically le beige so i'm starting off with my latest uh craze it's topo chico my sister has been drinking this for a while now i was like oh you know uh, i thought it was like club soda carbonated water and ugh, i've always hated the taste of those things um, tonic water i like but carbonated water or mineral sparkling mineral water and eh. i like perrier the one that used to um combine the lime and lemon flavor they don't sell that anymore i only see lime but this guys topo chico it's from mexico it's like drinking um yeah obviously you need to drink it cold but it's like drinking a um a soda freezing uh coke you know that feeling that you get you're like oh my god it's so refreshing but i don't know how to explain it these are like mini fizzies it's like it's not that like you know when you drink carbonated um drinks it's like it almost hurts your throat a little bit when you're swallowing it so fast this is amazing it's so refreshing okay now let's get into this so while i was in vegas okay i was on top of the um I was on top of the um, the beige. Um, there's three products I'm after, or I was after. The oversized Le Beige highlighter, the oversized Le Beige um, powder bronzer, and the Water Fresh blush. So the bronzer and the um, powder bronzer and the Water Fresh um, blush sold out online. And I had been looking every day, so fine. I got my hands on this. I found it in Nordstrom. Okay, so I was lucky enough. I got the medium. Okay, and while I was in Vegas, we we went to Vegas one day. Um, actually, one day or two days. One day, and you know we went to the most popular hotels, and I think it was in um, the Bellagio Hotel. Yes, the Bellagio Hotel. I had the nicest um, Christine Law from the Bellagio Hotel. She was so sweet. And she even wrote me an email afterwards thanking me. And if there's anything else, which I found it amazing. Great customer service. I have placed calls to my local um, Chanel Beauty, which is in Brickell. And I've left a couple of requests saying, as soon as these products come in, please give me a call. Crickets, not one call. This young lady, I mean, 
she, as soon as I walked in, she was like, hi, how can I help you? What are you looking for? I told her exactly. Actually, it was front and center. I'll insert a picture of the display. And um, yeah, and then a couple of days later, she followed up. So I do plan to answer her back because if she was nice enough to reach out, it's only uh, common courtesy that I return the email. So I did purchase the Water Fresh Tint in Warm Pink. So here's the thing. I did swatch three colors. There were two colors I knew automatically I didn't want. The light pink and I think it was the deep, uh, the deepest color they had. Okay. Uh, then I think there were three or four left. One was too, too pink and one was too peachy. So to me, this was the perfect color um, when you have like a sunburn, sun tan, like sunburn, but, and it's like already settling in. So that was it. Um, so let me just get going with my skin prep and we'll walk on through this. Okay. Okay. So while I was in the shower, I went ahead and I used the gel, um, the exfoliating gel. Okay. I used it a very light. It's like maybe like like this much okay all over my face very gentle i love it it smells amazing so now i'm going to spray on some of the hydra beauty essence mist okay so while i was in the store my little niece my number one fan she followed me in and um, I saw this and it was so hot. I mean, it was a nice hot because it's not like Miami, like humid hot. It's dry hot. So we, I mean, after we had already been walking in the Bellagio, I would say not even five minutes, we ran into the Chanel beauty store. So I was like, okay, I'm applying this. I sprayed it all over my face and I sprayed it on her and it was such a relief. It really felt nice. Okay. Now I'm going to add some, so basically this is what I took on my trip. I took my La Mer Balm Intense for my eyes and I took the um, La Mer Moisturizing um, Cream, but I had a mixture of the soft and gel cream in here. So I mixed it myself, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of that, the eye cream, and I'll be right back. Okay, moisturizer and eye cream are on. I'm going to let that settle in. So while I was out in um, the South West, we went to California, we went to Nevada, and we went to Utah. So it is dry heat out there and the sun was blazing. We had beautiful days. Every single, we were out there for 13 days and every single day was gorgeous so um i had recently purchased the uh, bright eyed um sunblock by supergoop i wore this every single day and i have to say i'm in love with this product okay i am going to apply some under my eye just i'm going to dab it on because this took me a while to figure out how to uh work with it you can't apply too much because then Obviously, it's going to start to ball up on you, but I'm just dabbing some. There we go. That's it. A little teensy bit goes a long way. Okay, now I'm going to add the Unseen Sunscreen. This is not what I used out there. Why? Because um, I, you know, this, the sun was really, really hot. We did a lot of walking. Um, and when we weren't walking, we were hiking. So that means a lot of sweat, you know. Um, so I used a mineral uh, sunscreen, sunblock. And that was, I have a, I'll do a video on sunscreens, which what really worked for me. And um, what I'm in love with but this chemical sunscreen is perfect when you're for every day you know when you're 
going about your normal day. You're not, you're not hiking. You're not swimming. You're not like playing sports outside. This is perfect. Okay. I'm going to let that soak in. I'm going to let that get absorbed. Okay. So moving on. Now they did have available the Water Fresh Tint Touch, which is has more coverage than the Water Fresh Tint. Now, here's the thing. I've seen so many videos on this. Oh, it's the new Water Fresh Tint. No, it's yes, it is new, but it's not replacing this. That's what I was told at the Chanel Beauty store in um, Las Vegas. This is not being replaced. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where they're saying, oh, this new one is much better than this one. Um, the, 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 the new formula, I've been told this is not going to be replaced and I hope it's not because what I love about this is exactly that. It's not a lot of coverage. It's just the right amount of coverage leaves your face feeling fresh. It's like this watery, fresh cooling sensation. If I wanted more coverage, I wouldn't be using something that's called water fresh, right? I'd be using, you know, the La Mer foundation or any other foundation except something that's really light and, and fluid and liquidy. I don't know if you get my drift, but I love the, I love this one. I'm not going to buy the other one. So this is what I wore out on vacation, two pumps which is a lot for me. So this is what I put on every single time we went out or which was not a lot <laughs> in terms of we went out to eat or anything like that. Okay. I think I put this on maybe out of the 13 days. I think I put on makeup maybe four times. But this is what I used and it played well with my sunblock. I love this and I have a backup of this. So I'm almost done. Because just in case they do get rid of this one, I have my backup and I might get a third one. I'm just scared of buying stuff and then it goes bad. Um, all right, so I'm going to just lightly make sure everything is spread out now let's move on to so they also released um some of their new bronzers i've had this i think for years this is the soleil tan de chanel bronze universal um, I can't tell you how old this is. I've had it for, it says it's good for 18 months. I've had it for, I want to say four years. And I mean, I've made a dent in it, but it's still amazing. Okay. I, I mean, I used to use this every day when I got this. I used to use this every day. I know they have new ones. I know they changed the formula as well. So, you know, I don't know. I can't tell you much about that, but we're not gonna apply this today. We are going to use the Le Beige. It's the Oversized Healthy Glow sun Kissed Powder in sun Kissed Medium, okay? I have used this. The compact is gorgeous, okay? It's not that it brings more um, product. This is only bringing, um, this only has, let's see, 15 grams, where I think the normal size um, compact, which I believe is something like this, brings um, 12. So it's just, they made it larger and wider, but, thinner <laughs> and a little bit more product but that's about it okay so this is the compact i know you guys have seen this already um it is gorgeous 
that eventually will go away as you've seen i've already i've used it it's i don't have to tell you i love it all right so i'm gonna swatch this for you okay so i'm using a new brush it's the elf ultimate blending brush i purchased one loved it so much ran out and purchased myself another one okay i love these little brushes so i'm just going to go in here and look at this color and just start buffing away oh my gosh look at that it's gorgeous, guys. Now, I want to bring it in a little bit because I want literally what this says, a sun-kissed look. I'm going to apply some here. I'm going to bring it down here. So like when you get a tan... There we go. Look at this. I love it. Okay. So this is sun kissed in the uh, the medium tone. All right. Okay, guys. I forgot the concealer. I'm using the twenty beige. Again, this is the original formula. Just a tiny bit here in my eleven line. Just a little bit here, here, and that's it. Okay, this is supposed to be a light, you know look okay now moving on to some eyeshadows i did go ahead and purchase this this is le beige um healthy glow natural eyeshadow eyeshadow palette in medium i you know they had some beautiful colors they had a warm one but you know i have to be honest with myself am i going to if i could get it on sale i would buy it because it is pretty but, you know, am I going to use it if I were going on vacation and this is all I was taking? Yes. But I have so many that um, I don't know if I should buy it. Let me put this back on. Okay. So I'm just going to use two colors from this palette. I don't want a heavy eye look, okay? I am loving it. I've been using it. So let me just get a fluffy brush. I'm going to go in into this one and just lightly all around. There we go. That's it. Now I'm going to get my little angled brush and I'm going into this color, this one right here. Okay. Okay, that's it. We want to keep this light, fresh, like you're on vacation. Okay. Now, I want to give my eye a little bit of a definition, so I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Classic, um, the Classic Eyeliner Eye Powder Pencil in Shimmering Brown. I'm just going to um, go in the inside and then flick it out a little bit.
Okay, now I'm going to put my new brow um, treatment on. Gonna let that dry a little bit, fill them in, um, comb them out, um, and curl my eyelashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, eyebrows are done. Now for some blush. So this is the beige water fresh blush in warm pink, okay? Now, I've already tried this twice. There is sort of a, you have to, I have found that the best way is to put it on the back of your hand. One pump is more than enough. It's very runny. You kind of have to mix it, okay? Look at that color, how beautiful. And then I'm taking one of the e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Blenders and just dabbing it on and pouncing it on. Look how beautiful. I love it, guys. I'm even going to take it up here just a little bit. Look at that. It's so radiant, so translucent. A lot, I've heard a lot of um, people on YouTube say it's like a watercolor effect. And it's true. I think that's the best way to, ex to, to explain it. Um... It's just, it's your skin, but healthy looking when you've gone out in the sun and you haven't really tanned, uh, like dedicated three hours of tanning to your skin. You've just been out in the sun like for a couple of days, you know? Um, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And one pump, that's it guys, one pump. All right, so that is the Water Fresh Blush in Warm Pink. Okay, you can still see a little bit here. Now, I had purchased <clears throat> these before um, the Water Fresh Blush came out. And these were the, um, what do they call these? The blush sticks. Uh, Le Beige Blush in N24 and N20, which, again, they are gorgeous. Okay. I was thinking of maybe putting this on as a highlighter, but I think I've got enough. Yeah. This might be the type of um, blush that when you're out and about and you just want to reapply, you know, put this in your purse. It's tiny. I mean, it's not tiny, but I mean, this is a lipstick and this is the blush. So it's not bad. Okay. Now, I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the, oh no, I thought I had. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna apply some mascara and I'll be back. Mascara is on. Now, for some lipstick. So, I don't have a Chanel lip liner. So I'm gonna use the Gucci uh, number two. Okay, so this is, this is a gorgeous color. So now I have, let me see, I have a couple of lipsticks. This is 402 Adrian. Let's see what I'm going to use. Again, I'm not going to go overboard on the lipstick. This, you know, this is weird because this looks like very caramelly here, but it's pink, like a brownie pink. Then I have, um, 
434 Mademoiselle. Check this one. Yeah, this is not the color. And I also have 438 uh, Suzanne. This is Suzanne. So, no. All right. So, I'm going to use Adrian. And I'm going to dab it on. I'm not going to go full force, okay? I'm just going to lightly dab it on until I can spread it myself, okay? Then I have these two. Um, now, this might look super pink, but it's not. This was a Michelle Wong Maybe Buy It. It's the one on top. Look how gorgeous that is. It's almost like translucent. But I also have this gold one, which I love. And it's the one I'm going to use today. Okay. That's on top. Okay. So I'm going to carefully just dab it on top. to buy another tube i'm running out of it this is one of those glosses i just I'm, when i'm walking out the door i do my eyebrows and i apply some of this there you go that's it okay guys i don't think i forgot anything yeah okay yeah i think i'm good Okay, guys, if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, guys, I am going to finish doing my hair and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I blow dried my hair because I'm also filming a hair tutorial. <laughs> so this is the final look. Very fresh, skin-like, healthy glow. Exactly what La Beige, the Chanel La Beige um, line is about, a healthy glow. If you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Spread the word. And I'll see you soon. Bye.